What is up you guys, it's Taylor and Jeff. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Excuse me. What is up you guys, it's Taylor and Jeff. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today, we are doing a really fun experiment. What are we doing? I have no idea. We are doing the 36 questions that lead to love, which you can find on the New York Times. Ooh la la. Yeah, so we actually had someone recommend that we do this, so here we are. The idea is from a psychologist that can two strangers fall in love if given the right questions to ask each other? And it's split into three parts. They get increasingly more personal things like that. The idea behind it is that to be fully compatible with someone, you have to be at your most like vulnerable and like self-expressive state. Wow. So, I don't know what these questions are, so it might get a little intense. We're gonna do it in three parts. <laughs> this is part one. 12, 12, 12. Yep. Wow. So, without further ado, I guess let's get without into it. Without further I do, am I right? The first question is, given the choice of anyone in the world, whom would you have as a dinner guest? These are gonna be annoying because they're gonna be so hard. Mm. Um, besides you? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, uh, okay, you go first. Anyone in the world. So that means they have to be alive. Not like uh, if you could have dinner with a dead person type thing, mm -hmm. you know. I would probably have dinner with Barack Obama. I knew you were gonna say that. I would maybe say Oprah. Okay. I just feel like she's um, she's like interviewed everyone under the sun. Or Barbara Walters. Well, yeah. Like I die because. T speaking to them, they have like spoken to everyone. You know what sure. I mean? That's how I feel about Barack Obama. Yeah. More of like a leadership role rather than a TV personality. Well, one could argue that. Yeah. Okay, so we're off to a good start. <clears throat> Number two, would you like to be famous? In what way? I don't want to be like mega famous where like I can't leave my house or anything. Mm. I want to be famous in a way that I can provide value to someone for my fame. So like maybe like, you know. Successful YouTube channel. Yeah, like someone watching this who gains something from it or yeah. makes them smile or something. Like that kind of fame I am cool with. Yeah, I think I'm in the same boat. So I set aside being a famous singer um, years ago. Ah, so. Hannah Montana, right, I right. forgot. Right. Um, yeah, I don't, the idea of fame is kind of weird. I feel like it's a mental, like the human mind is not meant to be famous. I've, mm -hmm. I say this all the time. It's just like, you're not meant to be famous and ridiculed and put at that kind of pedestal. But if I could be in a position to bring value to someone's life via a platform, a platform, then yeah, I would, I would do that. How noble. Who knew? Okay, I'll read the next one. Okay. Before making a telephone call, do you ever rehearse what you are going to say? Why? It depends on who I'm calling and what the conversation is about, but typically no. I'm very like, as just as a person, very quick off and- Off the cuff. Yeah, on the, off the cuff. Yeah. Okay, um, I probably can think of like on one hand when I've rehearsed and like, it's been like a major conversation of like quitting a job, yeah. Or like leaving a job or like some like big life decision yeah. just to like have my reasoning. But like, it's not like I'm like, hey, how, hey, how are you? <laughs> um, hey, do you want to come to hey. dinner tomorrow? No, should I say hello? What would constitute a perfect day for you? Uh, so many things. All right, you wake up, the sun is shining. It's 72 degrees, no humidity. Um, there's coffee. Uh, maybe we go for breakfast, Coffee. breakfast with friends. Then we go on and uh, like a nice walk after that, like along the beach or like in a jungle or um, oh, like she's going in a nice path. She's going global. I have a piece of coffee cake in my hand with my coffee. Literally, okay, I think we're in Colombia. 
as a, you know, as a you don't have to be. You don't have to be. Um, and then we have like a fun activity planned. Like we're going like on a boat, or we're going to see a show, mm -hmm. or we're doing something like fun together. Um, and then like something later in the day, there's something to look forward to as well. Like a nice dinner out, and then we all like mm -hmm. huddle by a fire and talk and like do it all again the next day. Very social day. That's your perfect day. Is very social. Yeah, just like with some like close friends yeah. doing fun things. Yeah, I love um, that idea. Mm. Sounds nice. I think my perfect day would be April 25th. I'm kidding. <laughs> I think the perfect day would be waking up, going for a walk, maybe with a coffee. Oh! Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe with a coffee, just going on a walk. I like tropical places, but I don't like walks on the beach like in the morning. I just like, you know, I don't know. I don't really love the beach. Like I don't like the sand. Mm -hmm. I don't like, I mean, I like the beach, but. How about the boardwalk so you're not on the sand? But yeah, you yeah, views. that could be that could be okay. And then I like the idea of having like an activity. Mm -hmm. I also like boating. Actually, like I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. My perfect day would be waking up in a nice house in like the woods mm -hmm. on a lake. Okay, so you wake up. Oh, I'm just picturing it in my head. You go and you sit on the balcony or on the. Uh, this isn't a balcony. This is a porch. A porch. Okay? And you have your coffee. The birds are chirping. You know what I mean? Dogs see, running around. You can see the lake down there. You're just having your morning cup of joe, and then you pack some lunches. You get a little lunch box with your cooler, mm -hmm. and then you get on the boat, and you go out on the lake, and you tube, and you, and then you come back to the dock, and then you have lunch maybe, on the dock. Maybe have a cocktail. Have a cocktail. Are you are you with anyone on this? Yeah, party with day? friends. With friends. Oh, um, are you with like anyone else? Just friends, or? I mean, you're my friend. Oh, okay. I uh, I just love the lake. Hmm. It's a perfect day. What about like a bay? Same thing, right? Yeah, I mean, it's fine. Okay. Cool. Um, so just to recap, I mean, both of our perfect days involve coffee, walking, a boat, a boat, a boat, who knew? Um, and friends. When did you last sing to yourself, to someone else as well? Okay, so this morning and this morning. Yeah, today. Mm-hmm. I just sing to myself mostly. Mm -hmm. You sang Rain On Me. I did. And I think I sang that and I sang something else. We were singing a lot of stuff. It's a singing household. <laughs> if you were able to live to the age of 90 and retain either the mind or body of a 30 year old for the last 60 years of your life, which would you want? This is so tough because part of me is like body. So like even if I'm 90, I can like go for like nice walks with my grandchildren and like like keep up and But like, you won't maybe you don't even know your grandchildren. So that's the caveat. It's like or do you stick me in a wheelchair mm. but I can keep up up here. And I'm like Yeah. You know. Whippersnapper, you know. Hey sis. Those shoes are tacky. You know what I mean? Like like keep up with the youngins. I don't know because I already I already have a feeling my mind is gonna be shot in the old days anyway. Mm -hmm. I'm That's already sad. I Don't say that. No, I, I, I mean, I hope not, but I do have a little bit of a memory problem. I don't know, I think, if given the option, I'm gonna do a little loophole here. I plan on keeping myself pretty healthy mm -hmm. my entire life. So if I could choose which one to do, I feel like I have less control over my mind and I have more control over my body. So like, I'll, I'll take, I'll do the body myself. I choose mind. I think I choose mind as well because I think you're able to do more. Like even yeah. watching TV, like I want, like I'll be able to like keep up with the shows and like what's happening rather than just you know. I also just don't want our kids to come visit us or our grandkids and, like, and not know who, they are. know who they are. And also like, what good is um, a body. having a body if you don't? I could wander off into Central Park and never be found again. You know, I could. I could but you'd be hot. But I'd be hot. <laughs> I'm kidding. Do you have a secret hunch about how you will die? Ooh! Wow, good question. I think I'll get some disease or something. Really? I don't know. I When I was younger, I was like, I know I'm gonna drown. I know I'm gonna drown. Like, <laughs> I know the car- what? I know the car is gonna like go into- a, Oh, so it's like, a car crash drowning. Like, yeah, off the off wow. the cliff or something. I'm not I gonna be- 
um, like the, the water is gonna damage the, the window mechanism and I'm not right. gonna be able to get out or open the door and it's gonna be a, a mess and but now I'm like, I don't know. I, I don't think Intense. that's gonna happen. I just think like maybe, I don't know, something's gonna happen. I mean, obviously, but. So I think, I haven't really thought about this. I think I'll just die in my sleep of old age. That's, that's the best way. Of old age. That would be ideal. Or, or I could see myself Nah, I don't want to say it. I don't want to put that out. I, I think that I think I'm gonna die from old age because I'm gonna live a nice. Who do you think is gonna die first? I feel like oh man. I think if you die, I'll die hours. That's later. what I'm saying. So you should die first. So that way. Well, let's do it together. <laughs> no, Romeo and Juliet. That's a trick. So see, that's the thing. So I would rather you die first because I know I can make it after. Yeah. Oh, that's so sad. I can't. Not in like that. a not okay, like next I want question. You to die. Next question. Next question. You know? okay. Name three things you and your partner appear to have in common. Boating, singers, coffee, <laughs> and friends. No, um, we're both very charismatic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think. I think we're both likable. I think we both want the same things in life in terms of like well, family. Yeah, so we're both family oriented. Yeah. So family oriented, charismatic. We're both men. Less obvious. We both, what, what was it, family oriented? Family oriented, charismatic. Compassionate. Sure. Thankful. I'll go with those. For what in your life do you feel most grateful? I love <laughs> gratitude. Okay. I am most grateful for the love and support from my friends, family, followers, all of that stuff. Anyone who enables me and supports me to pursue whatever it is I wanna pursue is just like the greatest gift is just to be supported, I think. And I'm so very lucky to come from a very supportive family and have such great supportive friends and a loving platform that yep. supports me. Okay, I... I'm gonna also say like support from like my family growing up. Like I don't, I, no, I wouldn't I'm be I'm getting, I'm who getting. I was today like without my friends and family. I'm grateful that I'm able to live in New York City. It's just one thing you feel most grateful. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, I'm also grateful for that. Yeah. Okay. So that's okay. okay. If you could change anything about the way you were raised, what would it be? See, this I don't like talking about things like this because. If, if I could change something that happened in the past, I might not be where I am right now. Preach. And I've grown and learned from everything in my past and have come to terms with the things I wish I could have changed. But if I had to change something, I don't know. I mean, again, I, this is, I'm, I'm proud of where I come from and I'm, gl I'm glad that I've been able to get where I am now. But I wish I could have changed that I wish we were a little bit more financially stable um, because a lot of the issues I saw with my family and my mom growing up was just like her having to work three or four jobs and work on the weekends to support us. And so that was tough because one, we didn't have a lot of money still. She wasn't around a lot. And you know what I mean? Like it's yeah. just stressful not to have money. Not that money fixes all your problems because it doesn't, but that was a big uh, stressor in yeah. my childhood. Makes sense. For me, I wouldn't really change anything, I don't think. I. But if you had to choose? If I had to, maybe another sibling. Oh, see, okay. So let's take away the sappy, sad money story. I wish I had a, either a twin. I think everyone wishes that. Boy or girl, or, or, some, or a sibling that was born within like the year after me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Or before me. I grew up, I have some siblings, but my, uh, my sister is actually eight years older than me. So we're as close as you can be for being eight years apart. That'd be good, having another sibling. So let's have a lot of kids. Great, cool. Take four minutes and tell your partner your life story in as much detail as possible. Really? Okay, we'll skip that one just because it'll be a long one, but if you wanna do like a 30 second recap or maybe give them a one minute life story. Born in New Jersey, raised in New Jersey. Private school, then public high school then college in New York. Acted starting in high school, loved it. Started doing it professionally. College, studied business. Another club. Another club. Started coming up to friends in college. 
then moved home for a year, saved some money, moved back into the city with my BFFs. We had a great time and then moved in with you after a few apartments later, never been happier living my life. Born and raised in good old Indiana, and my parents are divorced. My mom raised me with my sister alone. Uh, never went to the same school for an entire year because we moved around so much. My mom then met my stepdad when I was 11, who we moved in with, first stable home really ever. Transferred to a new school, found some new friends who were going to the private high school, which I really wanted to go to, so I finagled my way into a private high school for four years where I did very well. Uh, graduated high school and I was the first, no, no I wasn't, I, wasn't the, I was the first person in my family to go to college. So I went to Indiana University where I transferred after a semester because I felt it was too close to home and I wanted a more, I just wanted a different experience. Ended up at Ole Miss where it was very much so a different experience, I will leave it at that and graduated and moved to Chicago. I started modeling and moved to Miami. I live in New York. Now the club. And now I do, now the um, you know, all of this full time. What a great story. Short and sweet. Last question of this set. Ah! If you could wake up tomorrow having gained any one quality or ability, what would it be? Ooh. Like My... supernatural or human? I'm probably human. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. It says, yeah. Or ability. One quality or ability. Okay. I have a few. What are they? Okay, so one would be patience. If I could wake up and just like be patient and like never have any, like, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. that would be huge. Mm -hmm. And also just wake up every day with like the utmost gratitude, which I already do, but I wish it was just like there already, which it will be the more you practice. So I think those would be, be mine. Nice, those are good. I think mine would be the ability to not be stressed. I feel like sometimes I get stressed easily or like um, like anxious in situations like, and I get overwhelmed. Um, so I think that would be mine. You think you get, you get overwhelmed enough to where you would want that to change? I feel like you only get overwhelmed when it's like a, like a high pressure thing, like when our volcano is leaking on the table or the dog gets a little blood on the couch. Yeah, that's what I would change. <laughs> Of those things. Okay, great, 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 great. Okay, wait, that was fun. That was fun. Good okay. questions. Good questions. Good questions. Good questions. Good great job, New York questions. Times. Thank you. You can take this quiz too with the significant other, or if you're trying to fall in love with a stranger, hey, it says it's good for that, at newyorktimes.com, which we will link in the description. I'm Thanks excited. for watching. Yeah, I'm excited for part two. Yeah, I'm excited for part three. It's only going to get more intense. So, with that being said, thank you. Thank you. Please, if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel. Like this video, like all our other videos while you're at it. Find us on Instagram, leave a comment, share with a friend. You nailed it. Yeah. Until next time. See you in the next video.